Hey everybody, Joshua here. I'm gonna try to keep my distance because it turns out that this machine is a little bit noisy. Uh, so hopefully you'll be able to hear me over the sound of Jubilee. Uh, yeah, so I've had a bunch of news. Most of it's good. Actually, no, I'd say pretty much all of it's good at this point. Uh, the files are released. Uh, so that's the original CAD files. That's a shopping list. That's a set of assembly instructions and a wiki to kind of navigate you in and out of the different files that are, that are online. Uh, that's all on GitHub. Um, so, as far as that goes, um, Jubilee ends up being kind of an exercise in time, patience, and about 30 printed parts at this point. Um, on top of that, there's a few vendors actually who are, who are starting to sell some of the harder to make parts on Jubilee. That includes the metal twist locks, the bed plate, the side panels, and even some of the laser cut Delrin parts. Those are all something that you can buy now instead of build. So, at this point, um, the idea is that if you've um, got the time and patience, you can make uh, a tool changing uh, device something that is within your reach. Yeah, so that's all on GitHub. Um, as far as my own personal progress on this printer goes, I'm itching towards the kind of the 5,000 tool change mark, uh, which is really exciting. I will say that I can comfortably run it without a purge tower, without, uh, or w without a purge tower, and uh, at night, I guess I can just I can walk away from it and not worry about uh, it totally making a mess of itself. Um, it took a while to get there, but I'm it is, I'm pretty happy. So um, that doesn't mean to say that the machine is like failure proof. Um, there are places where it can fail, but I'll make a list on the GitHub that kind of goes through places to check uh, where screws will get loose or um, just places that are just going to wear out over time and need maintenance. Mainly that's just the V groove locking discs. Those parts are consumables. You have to replace them every, probably looks like it's going to be five to 8,000 tool changes, but we'll see at this point. So I'm still running some experiments on the machine, but you can already get started and go, go start building one uh, in the meantime. Uh, it's pretty stable at this point. Uh, yeah. So as far as uh, tool changing goes, uh, I wanted to mention that I've moved away from Simplify 3D. I'm using Prusa Slicer right now. And that's because Jubilee, for the most part, is slicer agnostic. So we're doing a tool change right now. Um, we're watching it do a little purge move. And then it's going to pick up the tool and do a wipe. Oop, there we go. And all of that's actually done at the config files that live on the SD card. So that's kind of like a firmware level, level feature done by the Duet board in particular. And that uh, actually makes it very easy to make your, uh, make Jubilee at least, slicer agnostic. So it doesn't really matter what slicer you use, as long as your slicer can export like T0 commands, T0, T1, T2, however many tools you have. Um, if your slicer can do that for a tool change, then you're pretty much good to go. Okay, uh, so as far as what else is happening, I made a Discord channel for people who are interested in building Jubilee, who are looking for assembly instructions help, who are um, doing modifications to the original design, or who are doing even group buys to make some of the parts just a little bit cheaper. Uh, that's all happening on Discord. There's a small community there. You are all most welcome to come and join and hang out there. Um, it's a, we're a good crew, I'd say. Uh, and it's pretty exciting to see other people make progress on their printers. Yeah, uh, I think that's about it for now. Oh wait, if anyone has any interesting two-color models besides uh, the cat that I seem to print quite often, please send them my way and I will gladly print it. Um, it's not, I have nothing against cats, but it would be interesting to print uh, something else for now as a test model. Um, I'd say that's about it for now. Um, Right now, it looks like uh, I'm, I'm really happy to say that it seems like Jubilee is going to be one of the best rock-solid tool-changing options that you can build. And I hope that if you're curious or interested about tool-changing and are willing to put in the time and effort to put one of these together, um, I, I hope you have a good time enjoying like, some of the cool things that you can do with tool changing that you just can't do with other machines. Um, yeah, so I hope Jubilee becomes a piece of infrastructure for everyone. That's about it for now. Um, I will catch up with all of you in the future. And that's, a, yeah, that's about it. Cheers.